Hi guys, today it's a beautiful day and I'm out with a beautiful BMW. This is an M635 CSI and I'm being reunited with this car after 10 years. I first featured this car in the Middle East edition of Car Magazine that I was editing at the time. So why have I borrowed it again? Because I thought I'd shoot a classic car with a classic camera. And not just any camera, but this beautiful Yashica 635. You see what I've done there? Now, the BMW, this generation 60, was actually introduced in 1976. And in 1978, they introduced the 635 uh, CSI version. The M635 CSI came later. That was in 83 for us and 87 for America, where it was just called the M6. But anyway, so for the 635, which was introduced in 78, this camera was actually introduced in 58. So there's 20 years between this and that car. Now this camera actually belonged to my dad, so I inherited it from him. And it's called a TLR, twin lens reflex. Twin lens because it's got two lenses. The bottom one actually shoots onto the film. The top one is the one that you actually view through. Reflex because there's a mirror here that bounces the image up. How do you view it? Through this bit here. And you see it through there. You can actually even magnify it there. And the awkward thing about how you line it up because it's all mirrored, it's a little bit difficult. This is a dual mode uh, film camera. So it takes two films. It takes a 35mm 120 we're shooting with 120 mil here 12 shots only per film and of course full manual settings so I have to cheat and put a light meter app on my phone and to figure out the settings so let's see how we get on with this the images hopefully you'll see along with this feature So it's quite difficult to remember a number of things with this camera. Uh, it's all manual, of course. And uh, you have to make sure you wind the film forward and then to engage the trigger or the, uh, the shutter, you have to actually push that down. Now it's engaged. And then in viewing through here, you have to remember that if you move this way, the car is moving the other way because it's all mirrored. So it takes a little bit of orientation to kind of understand that. I have to move quite far back. This uses a Yashikar 80 mil lenses. Um, you know, there's no zoom. It moves back and forth for focusing, but there's no zoom. So I have to literally, I'm the zoom. I have to move far back from the car. It's a square format picture. So to get everything in, uh, once I've got it zoomed in to how I think it should be, and it's purely manual. Yep, there, I think that's it. And then I just press the trigger button here. There you go. And once I've done that, I've got to remember, press that button in and then wind it forward and you'll hear it click that's when it stops at the next film. 10 shots already. Two more on this roll, then I'll swap rolls. Man, done a full day shooting, used up several rolls. That is a lot of hard work because of the amount of focus and concentration that you need to use one of these. I don't know how my dad used to come up with such amazing pictures and he didn't even have a light meter to help him. And I won't know if they're any good until I get them back from the shop. I hope they're okay. Anyway, regardless of how the pictures turn up, it's so good to be reunited with this incredible car. You know, when I was younger, I used to call this car the shark because of the way the front edge just goes in. And this really narrow sort of fuselage sleek body that it had. 
This car, of course, came off the back of the E9. Originally, BMW just wanted to facelift the E9 and turn it into this car, but uh, Bob Lutz, maximum Bob Lutz, who used to work for BMW at the time, said, no, 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 needs to have a clean sheet design, and that's why you ended up with this car. The M635 CSI, this one has the M88 series engine, and actually, that relates this car to the BMW M1 supercar, which also had that series engine, so that's quite incredible. The regular 635 had about 219 horsepower. This one got 286 horsepower. Top speed about 160 miles per hour and zero to 60 in 6.4 seconds. This one's got a manual gearbox. Incredible car, incredible performance. This one, immaculate, maintained and looked after by BMW. So incredible to drive. What a great car. You know what, if nothing else, it's great to have spent some more time with this legendary BMW. Shot. Right, sorry, sorry. I've only got 12 shots. Right. I've just lost one. <laughs> so here we are in the uh, BMW. This is a 1985 M635 CSI. And you know, it just brings back memories of my old E30. It feels very similar to that. Uh, and that was an 88 car, this is an 85 car. Uh, a lot of the interior is from that car, it feels like it's similar to that car. A lot of the technology, I mean, this car is very well equipped. I've got electric seats, electric windows, electric uh, power uh, mirrors as well on this. And the power steering as well. So it's quite easy to car, easy car to drive. Now, at the time, this car was known as, you know, a Grand Tour, quite a big, powerful car it is powerful for its day and even today in fact and it still moves pretty quickly um, but at the time while it might have been considered a long-legged grand tour sort of car uh, today it doesn't feel uh, that big it feels actually quite sporty um, and in fact even with the visibility with these very thin pillars there's a lot of light coming into the cabin and it feels very airy um, so it feels very comfortable and spacious and, and 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 you feel like you're sitting low in the car the ergonomics is typically BMW this is something they always got right before anyone else um, was very very good ergonomics in this car so it feels really good to drive the shifter very very easy very smooth five speed manual uh, gearbox on this car um, go into fifth no issues at all pulls well even in fifth incredible um, clutch is on the heavy side on this car so you know you got your leg will get a workout that's for sure but other than that not an issue uh, brakes are pretty good again very smooth very progressive and you know they feel quite contemporary actually you know like a lot of old cars you get in them and you go well I have to think a little bit ahead because the brakes are on an old car but actually these ones are fine not an issue at all and you know but if you've got a strong left leg that this is very much an easy daily driver no issues whatsoever um, great car to drive you know I always wanted one of these to be honest with you like when I was when I got my E30 what I really wanted was one of these and I was actually planning to get one of these but I was reading up about it at the time and you know at that time you know it wasn't a classic it was an oldish car um, so you could get them for reasonable money but uh, you could get them for about three four thousand pounds at that time but there were fears about rust and mechanical issues and stuff like that that I think ultimately at the end of the day scared me off when you consider the E30 was such a much more common car and there were a lot of specialists working for it and parts were easy to get so that's what happened these days one of these we're talking 40 to 50 thousand uh, pounds plus for really good ones um, the ones that are worth getting let's be honest but you can get a 635 you don't have to get the M 65 uh, you get a 65 and to be honest from the outside they'll look pretty much similar and be almost as satisfying to drive they'll have the same beautiful elegant look as well and that will be I think they're about from 15 to 30 thousand pounds so not unreasonable at all so yeah fantastic car what an incredible opportunity to get this car out again and do this incredible shoot with it oh so much fun